Hi there Scratchers, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to put a colour palette into Scratch. There was one in Scratch 2 but it's missing in Scratch 3 which is a real shame. And we can use this colour palette instead of the slider bars, the drawing sprites, drawing backgrounds. And my main motivation for doing this is to help us colourblind fraternity who kind of get laughed at for drawing pink grass, you know what I mean. So the first thing we need to do is to find a colour palette uh, using our browser. So I've just typed in into Google colour names for kids and make sure you choose a colour palette which has got black and grey in, that one will do. We click on it once which makes it slightly bigger, if you click on it twice it'll go to the site which is not what you want. We right click on it save image as it's a PNG a PNG or a JPEG will do and I like to save it on my desktop and give it a name and save we then go back on the scratch and the next thing to do is get to, to get that color palette from our desktop into both um, our sprite and our backdrop. So the first thing we're going to do is to get that from our desktop into um, a backdrop. So we click on choose a backdrop. We're not going to get it from library, we're not going to paint it, we don't want to surprise when we want the top option which is upload backdrop. And I'm on the desktop here and colours with names, double click please happen, double click and that is now a background um, and we're going to repeat that and put the palette as a sprite so we go just across here choose a sprite exactly the same go to the top option upload a sprite click on it and we're going to put the same thing colours with names as a sprite. So what I've in fact got is that's the sprite and below it is the background. And I don't actually want to see the sprite so I'm just going to hide it by clicking this button there because we're going to work on the backdrop to start with. Right I'm going to make a racing game because that has got grass in it and that's I'm green colour blind so that's the big problem I have. So this time we're going to paint a stage so we're on stage click on paint make sure that's for coding putting coding on the stage make sure you're on the middle tab backdrops and I want some green grass so this is what we use for choosing our colour. Obviously I'm not going to use the slider bars because I haven't got a clue what colour I'm going to get. But this little option down here is really really useful. I click on that. Just click down there. Go to my colour um, palette and I'm reading green, light green, lime, this one will do. Sorry I've got to click on the uh, palette selector here. That then becomes a magnifying glass. Go over green, D don't click on green itself because that will end up with black because it's written in black. Click on the green colour and that puts green into the fill box. I now go back to my backdrop and notice that the green is still there. And to draw a background I'm going to click on the square down here and pull it out. Just make sure that's clicked so you get no um, outline. 
just make another one over the top a bit bigger so it fills the whole background and that's our grass background I'm now going to choose another color let's do a racing track on there so go to my color palette and by the way this top one we don't need so I'm, I'm going to delete that uh, go to my color palette uh, click on the color selecting tool and we need a suitable color for a racetrack which is going to be looking for brown brown that'll do click on it then we go just click down there that gets rid of the slider bar click on our backdrop I'll just use the paintbrush for drawing the racing track and we'll make it size 80 and just a quick racing track there we go and just to show how quick this can be I want a blue start line click on my color palette and we will select blue go back to my backdrop click on the paintbrush what, what this size 10 will do and that's the start now to draw a sprite is slightly different using the palette bar let's just get rid of you cat sorry delete we are going to draw a sprite so we click on the second option up <coughs> make sure you're on the middle tab because we're, we're drawing a sprite and I'm just going to draw a red car so that is the sprite you want to click on that's our um, palette so we click on that we do exactly the same thing we click on the color picking tool we click on red crimson dark red that'll do then we click on our sprite over here because that's the one we're working on I'm no artist but I'm going to use a circle tool and the square always draw sprites bigger than you need them and then make them smaller later and then we need two black wheels so we click on the colors and exactly the same color picking black go back to our sprite and just put on two black wheels and a yellow driver um, click on the color picking tool click on yellow click on our sprite and just bung a yellow driver there and basically that's it let's just uh, make the car smaller I don't know size 30 move the car over the track and then basically we can start to code the car um, drawing more sprites is exactly the same we, we could um, draw another car uh, this this car could be a blue car click on the color palette click on the color picking tool click on blue go back to our second car black wheels back to our blue car make 
make it the correct size. What have I done now? Didn't mean to do that, sorry. And we've got a second car which we can um, code. Well, I hope you found that useful, um, especially if you're like me, colorblind. I really wish that Scratch would include a color palette in their um, in their program, but until they do, I hope what I've done today gives <laughs> gives you an alternative. Thanks for watching.